Scientific Notation and Linear Equations Lessons 4 through 7 Review. Questions 43 through 46. Write an equation for each line graphed below. Now, I want you to write down, make those three lines. So the first line is a slanted line. If it is a slanted line, your equation is going to look like y equals mx plus b. If it is a vertical line, vertical lines only cross the x-axis, so it's going to be x equals a number, and that's it, no y. And if it is a horizontal line, let me move it a little closer, horizontal lines only cross the y-axis, so it's going to look like y equals a number. So the first thing you want to ask yourself is, is it slanted, is it vertical, or is it horizontal? So let's start with 43. 43 is definitely not a slanted line, it is a horizontal line. Horizontal lines only cross the y-axis. So we have to figure out what does y equal. 1, 2, 3, 4. Going up is positive, so y equals positive 4. And that is it. You are done with 43. That is your equation right there. All right, for 44. That is a slanted line. So for slanted lines, we need to find the y-intercept and the rise and the run. So let's start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. So right here would be my y-intercept. It goes down 1, 2. So this would be a negative 2. My slope is my rise over run. So my rise is 1, and my run is 2. For the review, go ahead and put rise and run. My rise is 1, my run is 2. So my final equation would be y equals m, so 1 half x, so mx plus b, in this case minus 2. So again, this number would go in front of x, this number goes behind x. All right, for 45. 45 is a slanted line. 45 is a slanted line, so I'm going to start with my y-intercept. It goes up 1. My rise and my run, well, it's going downward. So my rise goes down 1, 2, 3. My rise is negative 3. And my run is 1. So for 45, my y-intercept is 1. And my slope is, again, negative 3 over 1. Now, this is not in simplest form. We want to put it in simplest form, so we want it to be negative 3. 
So my equation for this problem, y equals negative 3x plus 1. All right, 46. 46, this is my y-intercept. So it's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Just not, it's not what to grow up right. There we go. So this would be negative 4. And my y-intercept, notice how I already put these two points. It's going up. And then it's going to the right. So it goes up 1, 2. My rise is 2. And the run is 1, two, three, four, five. Rise of two, run of five. Rise of two, run of five. Really does not want to make a line for me. Okay, now my equation. y equals 2 fifths x minus 4. All right, that is it for 43 through 46. To get full credit, you must have everything written down. So please pause your video and do so now. If you have any questions, please let me know.